Now this is good content. EA have dropped a 92 rated Kieran Tierney and of course we are going to be trying him out today. Best left back in the world. Let's go. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description and if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. Okay, he's pretty expensive. 88 rated squad with not great chem to be fair and one Premier League player. So uh, yeah. Yeah, certainly not cheap, but at least stage of the game for a premium left back, I don't think he's overly expensive either. So this is what we are going to be submitting. Definitely would not advise copying this squad, and I don't actually think you could if you wanted to, just because some of the players aren't attainable anymore. But for the most part, everything's untradeable. So uh, let's do this. Let's get this sent off, and let's get Kieran Tierney in the club. Sadly, no walkout animation, but at least his dynamic is on the card straight away. Now I'm going to say this, what could have been really, really interesting is if EA gave him a centre-back item, because for Scotland, um, they kind of play like a 3 slash 5 at the back variant with like Tierney as like a centre-back but also full-back, like him and Robbo like kind of switch, but anyway, like not to the point, anyway, we've got a left-back card, it looks pretty nice, so hopefully in game, it is very, very good, and Kieran Tierney in FIFA is one of them full-backs who normally is very, very good. Good, especially early game even with his non-inform item because he's got pace decent defending and very good physicals and for a fullback that's just really really good especially in regards to just defending because yeah not too many fullbacks have a lot of pace and really good physicals but Tierney it has exactly that anyway that's not informed Tierney here is the nation player variant who uh, looks really really good I like the look of this card it's got some very nice pace obviously we probably will max it out with a chem style in a few moments physicals are excellent for a fullback um, once again, highlighting uh, Kieran Tierney's physical department. He's also 5'10", so uh, he's at a decent height for a fullback as well. Defensively, there's some nice stats. They're not amazing, it has to be said, especially compared to some of the defenders we've had as of late, but um, I think they'll be good enough with the correct chem style boost. Dribbling is excellent. That is top tier for a defender. Very good agility, balance, uh, dribbling, and composure. And his passing... His passing's pretty excellent, to be fair. Like, those stats, you could... Like, if you didn't know his position, you could definitely, you know, argue that this guy is a midfielder. He's got an elite crossing stat, very good short passing, pretty nice long passing, also good vision as well. So hopefully does distribute very, very nicely off of his left foot. And then finally, in the shooting section, we can see he's actually got 99 shot power and decent long shots. So uh, if the opportunity does arise, we will take a shot with him. But um, I'm doubtful of that actually happening. So let's discuss chem style, shall we? With a basic, he's a 92 left back with an anchor and 95 and with a shadow he goes all the way up to 95 now I, I think anchor is the chem style for him you get like a near perfect and um, pace well literally is perfect pace you get a nice a defensive boost and also a decent physical boost as well like at that point his physicals are just nearly perfect like you really can't get too much better um and the shadow chem style although it does give him a little bit better defensive stats like you're just wasting it in regards to pace so ultimately i think anchor is the chem style to go for over shadow of course if you're not too bothered about uh, the pace boost sentinel is probably the one but um it has to be anchor it just makes the most sense um no matter what Straight into a game we go, and we are up against this. Plenty of blue cards on show. His like, attack is brilliant, but his backline is pretty normal for this stage of the game. So hopefully we can exploit that in attack. Oh, I was going to say nice spot there by Tini, but the referee had already blown for offside. Ariola out to Tini, who puts the ball down the line very nicely for Bamba. Chance for KT to clear now. Goes down the line, nice pass. Once more into Bamba. Well, there's the whistle for half time, and it has been a battle of the defences. As you can see, chances have been at a minimum for both sides. So, uh, yeah, it's not been, you know, a good game of FIFA. It's been a pretty boring one. But, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on in the second 45. Since he's got some pretty good crossing attributes, let's give Kieran Tini the set piece. Balls whipped into the near post, and Bamba actually does score off it. Okay, got to be honest, I was expecting a good delivery. I wasn't quite expecting to score off it, but uh, happy days all round. Let's go, KT. Love to see it. Go on, Bamba, make a run. We'll find you. Goes out wide. 
It's William Cavalli of all people, but Kieran Tierney just nabs the ball off him. Well, that is full time in this one. A comprehensive 4-0 victory in at the end. And um, I've got to tell you, I know this video is focusing on Kieran Tierney, but Lindelof in that game was unreal. He was brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with my defensive performance in that game because we did not have much possession at all. We was under pressure for a lot of the game and we just handled it really, really well. Just to showcase the type of game it was, uh, look at the stats. He had nearly 70% possession, but um, we kept his chances down to, uh, you know, just, just a few. And when we attacked... We were lethal. How was Kieran Tierney on debut? Um, he, he was good. I, I think he is a solid left back, but um, those high, high work rates are not ideal, and they did mean that he did push up a bit, leaving a gap in behind. So uh, I think for the next game, we're going to have this stay back while attacking instruction on him. But um, yeah, other than the positioning, um, he seems solid defensively. He definitely does have a very good passing range. And uh, I like him on the ball. His dribbling is very, very nice. No messing about. Straight into the next match we go. And we come up against this. Another semi-decent side. Features a couple of really, really good players. But also a couple which are probably a bit outdated at this point in time. Nonetheless, in this division, there aren't really any bad players. So uh, let's see what we can do. Nice positioning in the back there by Tierney. Initially wasn't. They actually got him behind down his wing. But um, he's recovered well. Send Kieran Tierney down the wing. Showing good pace to get him behind his man. We do have the option to cross. But we're going to come inside first. We're going to find Jota. What the hell? I went for a fake shot. And that was the touch. Interesting. Nice turn. Go for the lob up field. There wasn't really too much thought into that. But it, it almost actually came off for us if we got a bit of a lucky bounce there. Gone out wide to Lanzini here. Kieran Tini will put on chase and just easy pace, easy strength and just wins it back. I see that man free at the bottom. Can we find him? What a ball. What a ball to Jota. What? Oh, it should have been. What an assist. I mean, we score in the end, but I don't actually care. I'm a bit annoyed Jota hasn't scored there. Can't believe he's hit the bar from there, but uh, yeah. KT robbed of a brilliant assist. What a pass that was, by the way. Tini wants more of the pass. He's set up an attack as well. Oh, Kieran Tini. I don't know how he hasn't scored there. Oh, nice intercept there. The ball was just not bouncing for us in that instance. Okay, so half time. We are 4 2 up. We were pretty comfortable at 4 0 at one point, but um, then he scored a long shot and got another goal straight away after, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, the team talk at half time has officially been changed. I will add, by the way, that none of the goals were at fault of uh, KT, and you can see that by the little goal map thing. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the second half, and let's hopefully concede no further goals. Genie gets past Doherty. Chance to whip in the ball now. Oh, sadly, went too close to the near post, but a chance is still there for Bamba, who hits it well, and Allison saves. Anyway, in this game, as you can see, we got a sixth goal, and then my opponent put his controller down because he really needs the extra 100 rivals points in June. Well, eventually that game came to an end. I don't get why people are so toxic. It's June, just, you know, quit. Like, what's the point at this stage of the game? But whatever, it is what it is. Another win. A um, bit gutted not to get the clean sheet like I already touched on, but um, I thought Kieran Tini was good in that game. Once more, I like getting this guy forward because his passing and crossing ability is very strong. And in defence, for the most part, he's just very, very solid. It's just, you know, he likes to venture forward. What are we saying then about KT? He's uh, he's the best left back in the world. But uh, now let's talk about how he is in Ultimate Team. Um, it, it's a really good card, to be honest. And I'll say straight off the bat, um, I think it is the best left back available in the Premier League in Ultimate Team. Now, that might change. Um, depending on how well England do in the Euros, because obviously that path to glory chill item is very, very similar. As things stand currently, I think KT just gets ahead of him. I just think he's a bit more meta. But obviously, as I say, if England do progress quite far, that chill well could um, obviously overtake him. But uh, for now, as I say, right now, if you uh, run with a Premier League side and you want you know, the best uh, left-back available option, then this is the card. Um, I think so anyway and for most part there really isn't you know a standout negative the only thing um, that holds him back a little bit that I'm a bit cautious of is the fact that he definitely does like to get forward so uh, if you do not want your fullback to get forward then stay back while attack instruction is needed 
on this card. Otherwise, he will venture forward and get involved in attacks. On the flip side, if you like an attacking fullback, then whew, you're going to enjoy this card because his passing, his distribution in general, and his crossing abilities are really, really good. And his dribbling for a defender is top, top drawer as well. So uh, a very, very good attacking left back indeed. And uh, he does make some really good runs as well when he gets forward. And you'll have seen that in the footage. Um, coming away from attacking though, in defence, I thought he was just really, really solid. And although his tackling ability isn't the best with the Yankee Kemp style, obviously the stats are very nice, but for the most part, it's his physicals. He just has brilliant physicals for a fullback, which not all of them do. And because of that, he's got the strength, he's got the aggression to just knock people off the ball with relative ease. And that is obviously very, very pleasing. The stamina lasted the full 90 minutes with ease as well, even with me using him in an attacking centre too. So that is obviously really, really nice. And also worth commenting on the fact that aerially, he's pretty solid as well, um, which you can't say for most fullbacks. Like his heading accuracy isn't brilliant, but he is a fullback who will win those aerial duels, which is obviously great to see. In regards to his defence, like I've already touched on, I think his tackling ability is pretty damn good. I don't think it's excellent, but I think it's pretty damn good. But it's mainly them physicals which make him very, very good defensively. Dribbling, I've already touched on, brilliant. Passing, brilliant for a defender. And pace, obviously, very, very good. Anchor 100% is the chem style for this guy. So I guess what it all comes down to is, is he worth it? Is he worth picking up at 250k? I won't lie. As much as I love this card, I do think that price is a bit steep, especially when you can pick up that Chilwell for about 70 or 80k. And although this KT is better than Chilwell, 250k in, trade in untradeables is a decent amount. So um, it it's honestly up to you guys. I, I think this, as I say, is the best Premier League left back currently available. So if you're on with a Premier League side, it seems an obvious decision to uh, pick up this item before it expires. But uh, if you fancy England's chances, maybe go for Chilwell and uh, see if he gets a boost. But as I say, Chilwell will need a boost or two to uh, feel better in-game than this Kieran Tierney item. So a uh, big thumbs up from me, and uh, I'll definitely be using this card for uh, a long, well, for the remainder of the game. Just got to hope that uh, EA throw out an end of era David Luiz like they probably will at some point, so I've got an easy green link into KT. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the item. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on the card and if you're going to do this SPC. Also, let me know who is your favourite left back in Ultimate Team this year. Who is your go-to choice? And if it's Mendy, well, you know, get in the bin. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.